Villa d'Este is a beautiful uh, and long Italian history, built in 1568 by Cardinale Tolomeo in probably one of the best spots uh, in Lake Como, turned into an hotel uh, in 1873, which as a matter of fact uh, make this year its 150th season, so it's an happy birthday. Just imagine over the past 150 years all the people that populated Villa d'Este, from celebrities, uh, politicians, and all the people that really wanted to spend some time in this amazing location. And another reason of, uh, to be proud for Villa d'Este is uh, hosting since 1929 the Concorso di Eleganza, which uh, could have not chosen a best location, Lake Como and Villa d'Este. I like to welcome you today on this sunny and incredible day here at Lake Como for the 17th version of uh, BMW's Concorso di Eleganza Villa d'Este 2022. the all-new BMW M4 CSL. The fastest series production car that BMW has ever built. The M double R, 50 years of M. Was vor 50 Jahren anfing mit dem Fahrzeug hinter mir und dem Proca Rennfahrzeug, diese Geschichte wurde fortgeschrieben bis heute und auch die Verbindung Motorsport zu High Performance ist geblieben. Vom M1 Proca und M1 Serienfahrzeug über M4 und M4 GT3 bis hin zu im nächsten Jahr dann LMDH, V8 Hybrid Rennsport und dem XM auch mit V8 Hybrid. Man sieht, die Story ist geblieben, die Fans sind mehr geworden, von wenigen 100 damals auf 163.000 Fahrzeuge letztes Jahr. Also die Story ist nicht mehr wegzudenken aus den Geschichtsbüchern, sowohl den Geschichtsbüchern der Automobilindustrie wie auch den Geschichtsbüchern von BMW. Und die Zukunft, die nächsten 50 Jahre werden großartig. So the design of our M cars has always been very, very performance uh, focused. So it's about leaving things off to save weight. It's about making sure the engine gets enough air. And it's also about making sure that uh, there is enough downforce. So everything is geared to extract uh, the maximum performance out of the vehicle. So it's a very reduced, very clean uh, type of design. But I think the end result has always been very exciting. Also eigentlich äh, beginnt die Geschichte der Motorsport GmbH im Januar 1972. Bob Lutz erzählte mir, er wäre jetzt neu bei BMW und er möchte die Motorsportorganisation bei BMW neu organisieren. Und er fragte mich, ob ich denn Interesse hätte, da mitzumachen. Und am 24. Mai haben wir die Motorsport GmbH ins Handelsregister eingetragen und das ist der 50-jährige Geburtstag. Also wir haben dann begonnen mit Motorsportaktivitäten, haben viele Meisterschaften gewonnen, haben dann Formel-2-Motoren gebaut. Und das erste richtige Auto, das wir gebaut haben, das war der M1 und das hat Herr Tuccaro gemacht. Certamente è stato un privilegio aver avuto un incarico di fare un progetto sportivo. Questa vettura aveva il pregio di essere performante come aerodinamica e nell'insieme un compromesso che secondo me a quel tempo era apprezzato. It's wonderful to be here at the Villa d'Este, uh, at the Como uh, Lake. This is the place where heritage and future come together. So no better place uh, to present the i7, which is really the masterpiece 
uh, of the BMW Group. So the i7 shows everything uh, that the BMW Group is capable of in terms of innovation, digitalization and also electromobility. What I love about this vehicle is of course two things, the very powerful responsive um, drivetrain, the uh, electric drivetrain and uh, also the theater screen, so the immersive uh, cinematic experience uh, that this car offers is unique. Please enjoy with us the all new BMW i7 visible today under the open skies for the first time here at Villa d'Este. We believe that this is the perfect expression uh, of modern luxury. And one thing is to uh, develop a platform, a car, an architecture where we are able to uh, involve different powertrains in one car and there's no difference between uh, getting a combustion engine vehicle rather than an i7, the one which stands here. It is completely unexpected. I am completely humbled by it and um, greatly appreciative. It was known as being the fastest car in the world at the time it was released. This car was in storage for decades and, uh, and uh, we got a lot of the original team back together and um, we were able to restore the car with CMC in Worcester, England. The best of show BMW Group trophy goes to Andrew Piskas Bugatti Type 57S Roadster by Van Voren. We were both astonished because we didn't think we had any chance. There's such amazing cars here. Uh, when we turned up two days ago, we looked at the entries and we were blown away by the quality. Of course, we have a very elegant car, but there are lots of elegant, beautiful cars here. So I'm over the moon. Never thought this would happen over the moon, honestly. The car came from America when it was black with lots of chrome. We did a lot of research on the original colors, which you see here now. And it's very difficult to get an old car like this exactly right. But uh, it worked very well in the end, and what you see today is as near to original as we could make it. Ten years I was waiting for the perfect weekend and right in time for our 10th anniversary partnering the Concorsa Deleganza at the Lake Como, it is here. Cars and watches or watches and cars, that is what keeps me going every single day and I'm here with a lot of like-minded people. If you ask yourself what do these two things have in common, I would say if you look at these cars here, the craftsmanship, the heritage the design and then you look at our watches you know exactly why I call that the best weekend in the calendar for me personally and I'm pretty sure for many other people as well. So welcome to the Wheels and Weisswurst Lake Como edition. Wheels and Weisswurst, the Bavarian version of cars and coffee, here next to the Concorso de Leganza Villa d'Este. On this lawn at Villa Erba, we have around 1,500 people already registered beforehand. It's going to be way beyond 2,000, 150 cars. 
50% of them being BMWs, um, mainly from BMW clubs from all over the region in Central Europe, but also Porsches, Ferraris, Aston Martins, and we're so happy to celebrate 50 years of BMW M here this weekend.